surprised egg <laughs> for the first time the first time in fact. What? Hello guys, I'm George. So today I'm gonna react to a video called What My Trip to Japan Was Like by Jading Animations. Yeah. So this video is gonna be you know just a Japanese guy reacting to a person who went to Japan for the first time. Any questions? Actually, it's been a while since I last reacted to other YouTubers' video. Recently, I've just roasted people who got, you know, interesting kanji kind of tattoos and interesting kanji kind of t-shirts, right? But this time, to change my mood, I'm gonna just enjoy watching this video and react to it. So let's enjoy watching together. Let's go. All right, so three, two, one, go. In October, I went on the first vacation I've been on with my family in years. My dad works super hard all the time, so normally it would be either my brother, mom, and me, or just me and my mom. And even those vacations became pretty sparse. Mm. It's been over 10 years since ten we years. had a family vacation. Wow, 10 years. I mean, if you were a rabbit, you would die of old age. Yeah, sorry, let's go back. All of a sudden, we have a week to be squished together in a foreign country. So how'd this one go? Uh, <laughs> day one. We arrived at the Tokyo airport after a nice and easy 11-hour flight <laughs> and got off the plane like, Wow, I can't believe we finally made it! We've been planning and looking forward to this trip for almost a year, and it's finally happening. How do we get out of here? <laughs> we walked around the airport for two hours trying two to figure hours? out what we had to do, which train we had you? to get. We lost dad for like half an hour in the sea of Asians. <laughs> I'd already expected the worst and thought he was dead. But no worries, turns out he wasn't taken out by the Japanese mafia. <laughs> and then we had to get train tickets and he had to take care of the luggage, so we split up and planned to meet at a ticket counter. But little did we know, there were two of them on opposite ends of the floor. And as the stereotype goes, they looked exactly the same. So uh... my parents were just grumbling and waiting for each other to show up at the opposite ticket stand with no method of communication because we didn't have Wi-Fi yet. After <laughs> figuring that out and getting to the Tokyo- There is free Wi-Fi in the airport though. Yeah, it should be there. But unfortunately, she couldn't find it. And if you get lost in the airport easily, then you'll absolutely get lost in Shinjuku Station. Do you know Shinjuku Station? Um, Shinjuku Station is the most complicated station in the world. Yeah, even Japanese people get lost easily. Shinjuku Station is a maze. To the Tokyo Station, we had to use the subway to get to our hotel. None of us grew up in the city, and using the subway was new to us, so we had to look at the train station map to see what to do. And is this the Windows 98 pipe screensaver? <laughs> this props to people who use the metro daily or even just know how to figure that stuff out because that's like a whole bill gates secret code and the consequence of making a mistake is paying to be plopped in an area you never wanted to be at in the first place we didn't even know how to start reading the map so my dad resorted to the only logical option do you speak english do you speak english konnichiwa nice uh please uh, help us <laughs> stop, stop. Okay, so that was rude. That was totally rude, but what she said was just, I don't speak English, so you stupid foreigner or something like that. But, you know, the funny thing was just, you know, Jaden's dad was just nodding. Yeah, that was funny part. And, but actually, she speaks Japanese very well, though. Is she half Japanese or something? I don't know. And when it comes to the Japanese train map, yeah, it's definitely confusing. I mean, most of the signs are written in English. It's still complicated. More than my life. So my dad would keep walking up to random Japanese people and trying to communicate with them in English, even though we were in a country that doesn't speak English. And when they obviously wouldn't understand, he would just try to say it all again but slower like that was gonna make a difference but we found a guy named paul who helped us out thank you paul konnichiwa japan is super different from the states i didn't really know what to expect but my mom and i were super hyped after experiencing and learning about the culture dad and jack's not so much but they like the food. So here's what happened. First morning, woke up early to do a Tokyo bus tour. This time after our best friend Paul taught us the ropes, we were experts at navigating the subway. 
we got on the wrong train. We stopped at a cafe <laughs> for breakfast, and it was at that point where I realized I wasn't going okay. to be able to use the image translation app I downloaded to try and make communication easier while we were there. It would have been super awesome to just hover the camera over the Japanese symbols mm. and have the phone immediately nice. be like, hey, this is what this says. But it wasn't working the way I thought it would. I don't speak Japanese, but I'm pretty sure they weren't selling a surprised egg <laughs> the first time the first time, in fact. What? This wife. I don't <laughs> think that's a thing. Who married an egg and why is she so surprised? The tour was fun. We went to a forest with some shrines, saw some sumo wrestlers, went up the Tokyo Tower. Pretty cool Asian stuff. Second day, we walked on Japan's big famous crosswalk that looks like the B-movie's traffic system. Uh, Rest for the dog that Shibuya. waited nine years for his dead owner to return from the train station. I love you, Hachiko. Went to a hedgehog cafe. Got on the wrong train. <laughs> Mega Donkey. Spent way too much money at the Pokemon Center. Won nothing at a big arcade. And then collapsed into bed. <laughs> I should probably slow things down a bit so you can really take in- Day whatever! Wrong train! Rice triangles! Tiny banana snack! My brother said it tasted weird. Walking tour! Oh god, my legs hurt! More noodles! Went to sleep. We had another bus tour around Kyoto, and one of the stops was this thousand golden statues temple that was really cool, and we learned about a bunch of gods. One of which I, a Pokemon master, already recognized since it was the inspiration behind Thunderous. <laughs> Stop! Stop! I mean, wow! I thought something happened to my mug. I mean, okay. So she has a good sense of humor, but she has no sense of music. Another one of the stops on the bus tour was this temple called Kiyomizu Dera. Kiyomizu Dera. Mm -hmm. And there's a whole backstory to this place where some people would do this thing called taking the plunge, which was seen as a bold and desperate, extreme wish-making act. So it's simple. What you do is jump off the 43-foot temple balcony and not die. That's literally it. I'm not joking. In the Edo period, people believe that if they put their lives in the hands of Canon, the god of mercy, you'd be granted a wish, given you don't die because he doesn't give wishes to corpses. During that time, 200 people jumped and 85% of them survived, hey. which I'd say is actually a pretty good ratio. Hey. One woman apparently even jumped twice. Hey, my, my wish didn't come true. Well, I guess I jump again. <laughs> I don't let you do that anymore. Which I think is fair, I guess. Anyway, that wasn't even where I was going with that place. There's this little shrine area at the foot of the temple with three waterfalls, each representing either longer life, wisdom, or love. And if you drink from one of them, it's believed that you'd be granted that particular category in life. But you only get one drink, thirsty ho. So I go up there with my long cup on a stick you get, and was watching what everyone else was doing. They would get the water in the cup, wash one hand at a time, then pour some water into one hand to drink from, and let the rest drip into the pool below. Anyway, cutting to the chase, basically, you're in the presence of some pretty intense wisdom right now. Also, there wasn't any place to dry your hands afterwards, so I got wisdom water all <laughs> over my pants. After that, that me we as saw well. thousand red gates. You're allowed to walk under them, but apparently it takes like three hours to get through yeah. them all, and we didn't have that time, so we walked under like 10 and called it a day. After waking up with some French toast that was lightly dusted with a pound of sugar, my mom and I went to the Studio Ghibli Museum. I can't express how She's Ghibli. Well, I didn't know that actually it's called Ghibli in English. So in Japanese we say Ghibli. But she said Ghibli. 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 I can't express how incredible that place was. I would recommend it to anyone who has an appreciation for Ghibli, or animation, or art, or anything. I'd show you how mesmerizing it is in there, but there's no filming or photos allowed inside, so no spoilers here, I'm a child of the law. But I did snag this picture of the kids' play area because I thought it was adorable. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta break the rules when it's important, okay? We went to a conveyor okay. belt sushi place, and mom had never been to one before, so she got overwhelmed and just immediately grabbed like five random things. <laughs> I've been to one once before, but my skills aren't anywhere near coordinated. So when I tried to put the wasabi bowl back, I oh, ended up clogging a bunch of plates and nightmare. ruining a section of the sushi harmony. <laughs> and just being really obnoxious. Sushi and harmony. I felt really bad. The next day we oh. almost got on the wrong train. <laughs> the wisdom juice is kicking in. We oh, went to this famous Sega works. arcade with eight floors. That 
was immensely intimidating. You know how you go to an arcade and there's always some Asian kid who's an absolute god at a game? Yeah. And there's a little yeah. crowd watching because it's so mesmerizing and we're all pathetic. This is their hive. This is the enlightenment mountain they climb for gotcha. 80 years and consume nothing but tears of tigers. Car racing, combat games, even the children were getting spit out the womb playing like monks. Look at mm. this guy. I don't know what game this is or mm. the objective here, but the aura around him is screaming, leave here and never come back unworthy rat we were also introduced to this dance game i've never seen before called dance rush stardom it's like ddr but with less arrows and a hundred percent more late 90s melbourne shuffling my brother and i tried to play it and it felt like the whole country was like oh god why are they <laughs> they look asian but they're white as crackers <laughs> you kick out of it so you know what don't don't eat yourself then we left and got on the wrong thing for the last night we went to this robot show and let me tell you this place was insane. So the main attractions of the place are these giant flashy robots and stuff. But I gotta talk about these drinks and light bulbs they were selling. They were crazy with all their blinking mm. colors and such. It was like a little rave in a cup. Like, dude, who comes up with this stuff? Benjamin Franklin wishes he did, I'll tell you that. You got to choose from like four drink choices, but most of them were alcohol, so I got this peach juice instead. I'm legally allowed to drink now, but I'm not the biggest fan, and who knows how outrageous the drink would have looked if I was was a bit tipsy. Anyway, definitely one of the most insane things I saw there for sure. Top of the list of the entire show. Nothing compares to the little light bulb. Japan was so much fun and it's Hey. Like um I lost her voice because <laughs> of the noisy music there. But yeah, so when it comes to this robber restaurant, um this is a totally you know terrorist thing, so yeah, I've never been there. And just so you know, in Japan, you can drink alcohol at the age of 20. So not like 18, 19, 16. So when you come to Japan, please be careful. And uh, I mean, yeah, you can take a picture at Ghibli Museum, but you can't drink alcohol if you're not 20. Don't break the rules much fun and it's become one of my favorite memories with my family but the thing is when I started this script I wanted to briefly mention what we did so I could talk about how much trouble I had getting back home because that was a whole situation of classic Jaden I thought you would enjoy but here I am mm -hmm. on page four of the script and I haven't been able to talk about anything Ugh. I don't like breaking stories into different parts but we're not animating a 20 minute video <laughs> I'd rather put my hands in the life of canon twice so yeah see you in a few weeks with that Hey, thanks for watching. Wow. So a bunch has happened since the last video. <laughs> YouTube Rewind. Mmm, that was good. Yeah, I mean, she made such a great video. And um, I admire her hard work, you know, when you think about how much time she spent for making this animation. It should have hard and tough. And personally, I love her voice, which is very soothing. And uh, also, you know, this video is so entertaining so i enjoyed it very much anyway my favorite part in this video was surprise egg all right guys thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you in the next video have a good day bye